In this video, I set out to find the next big and amazing Terraria content mod, and I think I found just that. The Homeward Journey mod is an amazing underrated Terraria content mod that I never knew about with tons of unique bosses and items. Make sure y'all watch through the whole video to see some of these insanely unique boss fights. Do keep in mind that this was streamed live, so these are my first and initial reactions to everything from this mod. With that said, let's hop into the video. Alright, let's see, let's see uh, what we're working with here in terms of enemies, in terms of Sprites, let's bring in a random enemy. This guy, Slime God. Whoa, <laughs> this one is cooler than the Calamity one. Calamity who? This is sick as hell. I didn't even want to check out bosses. I just kind of spawned him in. I like the, I like the, the fight so far. It looks kind of cool. I like the little projectiles. You actually do got to dodge a little bit. Is he doing any new attacks? I'm not seeing too many new attacks. I'm seeing that laser attack a little bit more often. But like other than that, I don't know. The attack seems exactly the same. Boss defeated. I didn't even know it was nighttime. See, the boss makes it so bright. Drop sun god armor. Let's let's put on the sun god armor. Uh set bonus provides unlimited mid-air jumps and negates fall damage. <laughs> we got ultra healing potion. We got golden saddle. Oh yeah. <laughs> the slime's got some movement to it, but it can't fly? All right, come on. How is this a post moon lord thing that can't fly? Let me see this attacking enemy. Bring in an enemy. What's the enemy? Solar energy slime. Kill it. Kill it. Right there, kill it. Oh, it attracts hostile projectiles. Whoa. What the hell? Hey, here you go. I guess let's just look at all the bosses. Then. Deer Clops, new boss. Never heard of it before. So what was the first boss from it? Oh, shoot. It is the Marquee Squid. Okay, so he just fought at the beach. No new biome necessary. All right, let's see my boy Marquis then. Okay, he's a lot tinier than I thought he'd be. Was kind of hoping he would be gigantic. Remember that one like fish texture pack I checked out? And the Moon Lord was like a giant squid. That's kind of what I was expecting. Giant squids are like my favorite enemy in video games. Still cool. Okay, I didn't mean to insta kill him. I was gonna see if there's more attacks. <laughs> okay, we got a little uh, dagger. Looks like throwing dagger here. Uh, whirl book. Okay. This is this would be a pretty good pre hard mode uh, tome right here. We got the little bloopers. This is straight up like blooper AI from Mario. For a pre hard mode boss, it's cool. When do you fight it? Fight it after Skeletron. That feels like you'd fight it definitely before i feel like you'd fight it before these two would be a better spot all right next up who do we got so the rest of the bosses are hard mode priestess rod use in space i'm off to space is this a mech boss i think they said this was a mech boss or something right whoa that's kind of cool i like that little spin attack looks very weird like it literally is just like a rod i don't know who the priestess is. what the heck are these things literally just rods <laughs> very interesting i don't like there's a metallic looking boss but it makes like flesh noises propeller rapier oh yeah <laughs> Def definitely different unique airborne goggles shows a bullet trace which can only be seen by you when holding a bullet firing gun that sounds really cool we're shooting now no bullet trace put it on oh i like that that's kind of cool that's kind of cool it's definitely a unique accessory this would have helped me during the alchemist run <laughs> i needed something like that during the alchemist class you know accuracy was like five percent on that whole playthrough boss is like 10 times faster <laughs> he's moving fast as fuck i do like the spinning animation though oh there we go there's something new you do love to see the expert mode additions. That dude is firing off like 90 shots. I always do appreciate when expert mode bosses have uh, more attacks. I am not fucking with the trophy though. Like what is it? <laughs> I know it's literally a rod boss, but why is it literally a rod? I don't get it. Expert mode item, solar panel. Continually generates energy balls. Let me see these energy balls. Okay. <laughs> I like it. I like the idea. Calamari staff. Look, we get our own bloopers. Hey, that's literally a blooper. <laughs> that's literally Mario. You guys are about to get sued. You know how Nintendo is. You better watch out with that. The Abyss. We're in here. What is this? So this kind of looks like a, like a sunken city. Kind of cool. I like the idea of that. 
Love, what's down here? Like, what is this? What is this? <laughs> is this where you're supposed to fight the boss? Destroy a portal to another world. Ew, nasty. What is that? Diver. You don't look like a diver. Blue screen room for thumbnails. Yeah, I doubt that that's the reason this is here. There's no way that's here for thumbnails. <laughs> All right, shoot out little projectiles. Give you blindness, darkness. Got a little dash. Ooh, that looks like it'd be pretty dangerous to fight in higher difficulties. He's dashing at you and he's shooting little demon sides at you. Got another tough attack to dodge here. Ah, oh, it's kind of slow. It's not too bad. Noticing that a lot of bosses in this mod literally just dash at you. Probably work on that. Because I think I think every single boss besides the, the slime one dashes at us. Other than that, it looks cool. It looks cool. Alright, Mother Brain. Okay, I like it so far. It looks cool. Uh, what do I have to hit here? Okay, so the only thing I can hit is the, uh, what are these? Linka. I don't know what the hell that means. Linka. Let's see some of the attacks. Got a little tough laser to dodge here, but in the dungeon might not be too bad. That's if you don't clear out a big area. Uh, and then it's got like probe sort of AI just shooting lasers at me. Two lasers? That's kind of tough. That's kind of tough, I'm not gonna lie. Okay, so we got like Brain of Cthulhu AI so far, expected. Like a faster Brain of Cthulhu. What about now? Same thing? Just Brain of Cthulhu? Right, okay, I kind of wish there was a little bit more. It's very faithful to the uh, Brain of Cthulhu, which I understand. It is a, literally a mech version of the Brain of Cthulhu. But like, I feel like it can have a little bit more attacks, especially since I'm literally playing in extra mode. Cockman. No, that's not what that says. Cockma. Summons a Sephira to fall in. Little light source. Uh, is this the extra mode item? Summons a mini Linka to fight for you. Little equipable summon. I like that. Where's some enemies at? A little inaccurate. That or that skeleton was juking the hell out of it. Drops all the souls, true. And soul of blight. You love to see souls of blight. Shout out Akram. Oh, look, that actually makes like an awkward look. Yeah, the, uh, the beginning of that boss fight was cool, but the second half, it's literally just like the Brain of Cthulhu, but mech version. You could add a little bit more to it. All right, next up. So this is post Moon Lord stuff. Wall of Shadow. Use a ultimate torch at the seal under the abyss. So this is where we come to. We come to here, and then let me turn the lights off. What does it look like? Whoa. I get it now. It is a blue screen. <laughs> This is literally like a PNG on a green screen or blue screen in the background. This is kind of cool. Now this is kind of cool. This is innovative. This is probably the coolest boss so far. Just giving Terraria like more than just like 2D. Like more than just a 2D vibe. There's actually some depth, some dimensions, some layers. The attacks are cool. You know, they got the, the eyes all shooting little beams out. They got the, the little hungries, the shadow hungries. Uh, the eyes are shooting little beams and little balls at me. And then they got that attack, that attack right there, which is also very cool. It honestly, looks like it'd be a tough fight. Not a lot of room to move. You really got to adapt to the, the fighting style. Okay. We did more damage and it kind of like zoomed out, went deeper in. Kind of cool. We did more damage and it like retreated further back. Oh, but look, it's coming back towards me. Do you see that? It's coming back. Yeah, that's kind of cool. I wonder if it gets like all the way. I wonder how far the darkness comes up. Let's see. Maybe if it comes like all the way up, you die or something. Insta kill if it gets you. I kind of hope it does. I kind of hope it does. Oh, it does kill you. GR was licked. What the? Hold up. <laughs> that's kind of cool. I mess with that. And there we go. The Barrier of Terror's true colors have shattered. That's cool. Definitely my favorite boss so far. Let me go ahead and see this uh, relic. Very interested about this relic. It's literally a wall. <laughs> so yeah, the fights in that didn't vary that much, but I could definitely, you know, put that to the side and not worry about it. Because like the fight itself has so many attacks already. And it's just so unique of a fight that like, you could really just not even pay attention to it being the same attacks over and over. But like for some of the earlier bosses, I, I do expect more. 
I definitely expect more from the brain one. The squid, even though it is a fairly early game, it's towards the end of pre-hard mode. So I definitely expect a little bit more from that one because that thing only had like three attacks. That's how you make a good Terraria bosses. Good Terraria bosses are you start the fight off, the boss has like two, three attacks. You get like towards the end, like halfway or towards the end of the boss fight, the attacks are either sped up to make it harder or there's like two or three more attacks. It enters phase two and adds more attacks. That's how you make a Terraria boss really good. It's a progressive fight that changes a little bit. I'm not saying you need to make this god tier of a boss. Like, I could really understand if I fight something before King Slime and the thing has like one or two attacks, I'm not I'm not looking for much. Because the King Slime itself legit only like teleports and jumps around. And then next we got the Overwatcher, the Life Bringer, the Materializer. We got the Overwatcher. It looks like an eyeball. Get it? Watcher? Let's see how this fight is definitely looks a lot more intense i like the screen effects i like the little screen effects blowing around the attacks are cool i'm messing with the attacks let's fight them at night they really look cooler at night bright attacks might look good at night <clears throat> i'm messing with them noticing a lot of bosses from this mod spawning little minions that are on you all the time okay we got new attacks popping off phase two it's got little uh, pocket watches hanging off the side of it kind of cool these things would definitely make the fight a lot harder with these things swinging around they also shoot projectiles. Oh, there's that dashing. There's that dashing. <laughs> Confirm 90% of the bosses from this mod dash at some point. I'm having trouble seeing these eyes. I gotta actually aim a little bit. Yeah, you can do that again. So I don't think you can hit the boss itself now. It's just the eyeballs that are hanging off of it. And there you go, boss. Left. Cool boss, cool boss. Double tap in horizontal direction to do a dash. Invincible when dashing does not perform well with Celestial Starboard. Just gives me immunity while I'm dashing. Invincible. Cool. Can be very strong, especially late game. Why does every Terraria streamer doing mods? I just want to see a vanilla viewer and streamer server for once. Maybe because people are tired of playing vanilla Terraria. Dumbass. No, I'm kidding. Next boss. We got Lifebringer. Hey, first worm boss. This one's got a lot of eyeballs on it too noticing an eyeball theme again it's got really cool looking effects i'm gonna make it nighttime just to you know, really pop them out okay kind of hard to see on that nighttime. these attacks look tough where do i hit it in the booty can i hit it in the head no new attacks we got any new attacks there or i still got a beat on them still gotta jerk them okay this one seems a little bit more tame compared to the last one still a lot of projectiles to get a dodge but that attack right there is literally an Empress of Light attack. I do like how uh, the tail has this little like leaf barrier around it. Oh, you have to be inside of the barrier to do damage. Look at that. That's kind of that's kind of a very interesting concept. Materializer, Maybe like a snow biome boss. Whoa. I like the screen effects. You guys get a plus one for the screen effects. Look at this. Whoa crazy let's uh let's observe the attacks here that's another like empress of light looking attack empress of light really pioneered these bullet hell attacks oh i like that i like that that's cool little squares anybody afraid of geometry watch out this might be a tough one okay he's got another attack he got a lot of attacks kind of keeps us in this little circle i don't know if he does damage to us where we like sit still like does his spinning head do damage it'd be kind of hard to dodge him but so far very cool fight probably the coolest out of the three so you gotta like dodge him while he's chasing you with these circles around you that's pretty tough that could be tough i like these lasers these lasers are definitely like they come at you in weird directions you're not used to dodging lasers like that you're used to like a beam sitting in the middle and then shooting at you triangles oh now you bringing out the triangles Oh, uh, now he bringing out the rectangles. Look at that. I would have dodged that. Dodged that. Dodged it. Oh, he bringing out the circles again. Geometry boss. He dashes at you. <laughs> he dashes at you. I'm noticing a trend. You guys thought it was a joke. Got him. The rudder grants the ability to fly. Oh yeah! Hey, this reminds me of the uh, the the green orb from uh, Blue, uh, what was the name of the mod? Elements Unleash. Compass summons a radar to follow you. Yeah, but what the hell does the radar do? View enemy hitboxes. Oh, that's kind of cool. <laughs> All right, let me see this like on old worm boss. Look at the hitboxes. Look at them go. 
<laughs> very unique cool that it's a pet i always love when something's a pet because you know that means more accessory slots for me to use flying coffin <laughs> That's a good enemy right there. <laughs> I like the idea of a hollowed sword enemy being a flying coffin. Lost Vikings. And then I'm assuming Vikings come out of it. Very cool. I like that idea. We got a magma mag mackerel. Cool. Li I like the name. Mario? That's Mario. Watch out. Y'all might get sued for that one. Speak about being sued. Magma flower. PD piranha type enemy. Submitted. You can't attack your conqueror whoa you see the little like aura has around it if you're inside of that you can't attack it that's kind of cool that's a unique idea pharaoh's hand i'm assuming this might be like a bigger boss in the making pharaoh's hand and it's got like the golden eye i don't know screen door zombie hold up plants versus zombies bro. oh boy got the screen door how do i counter it you guys remember what you do in plants versus zombies to counter it? a shy ghost literally a boo <laughs> It's a boo, bro. You guys are going to get sued by Nintendo. Be careful. You're treading on scarce ground. All right, let's put on this biologic set. Dang, dang. What is that little spot right there? Is that my wee wee? What's the set bonus? Double tap down to put down a gas station. Anybody need some gas? I got gas. Stimulated. Damage increased and enemies are less likely. Ooh, that's kind of cool. <laughs> I like that. That's a unique uh, set bonus. This is the type of set bonuses I'd be looking for when Terraria mods have armor sets. Something really unique stands out. Look at that. It's a me right now. Wah. Whatever Toad says. Give me a Toad quote. What does Toad say? Wah. <laughs> Luigi's Mansion Toad. Ready for adventure. Set bonus double tap down to place a fungus sentry. Go fungus sentry. Oh, it's got the truffle attack too. Nice little, is this a summoner set? Oh, it is a summoner set. Nice. Mushroom themed and it's a summoner set. They really know how to tap into Game Raider's heart. Double tap down to place a spider web sentry. So the set bonus is increases whip range. Okay, so it turns them into like a sentry whip combo sort of armor set. Well, slows down enemy projectiles. I like that. Very unique. Plus thumbs up. There you go. Plus thumb, thumbs up. Thumbs up on the armors. You did good. What else we got? San Nato. A disco ball summon. God, this mod's got a lot of sentries. Handy bandage. This is a melee weapon. Kind of cool. <laughs> Just grabbing random weapons here. King B gun. Typical bee weapon moment. At least the bees look different. Those are different looking bees. Frost grief. Whoa. A lot of projectiles from this. Looks really cool looking too. Yo-yo. This is a cool yo-yo. It's very uh, reminiscent of the boss fight that you get this yo-yo from. I messed with it heavy. The Homeward Journey mod. I like it a lot gonna be downloaded permanently from now on possible video coming out shout out these people right here 